Hello lovely people, how are you guys doing? In today's video I'm gonna show you how to create a really simple, really casual, staying at home makeup look. I thought I would do my makeup today, do something more natural or should I say more neutral because natural is not what we're gonna be doing today. But I've been posting those really colorful, super intense makeup looks and I know that you guys really like them but I also know that you really appreciate it when I show you more toned down, more wearable makeup looks and that's exactly what we're doing today. Wearable, casual, but glam. <laughs> Cause that's the kind of makeup I like. We're gonna sprinkle some glam on this face. So let's just jump right into it. I already primed my face. I used really moisturizing products. I used this Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Moisturizer and I also added on top of it the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Protecting Primer. Cause today I'm gonna use a foundation which is more suitable for oily skin or normal to oily skin. It's a little bit more drying. If you have dry skin, you need to moisturize really well. Before before you use this foundation. Where did I put it? It's right here. So this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation and I'm using the shade 1 and 1. This is not the most suitable foundation for my skin type and also the shade is not the perfect one for me but what I really like about it is the coverage. It covers everything. <laughs> you can really build up the coverage. You don't really need concealer with this foundation. You can just add a little bit more in the areas where you feel like you need more coverage and boom, everything is covered. Everything looks flawless. The finish is matte. I would be so happy if they come up with a dewy finish version of this foundation because I like my skin to look nice and dewy and moisturized, but the coverage of this foundation is so worth it. As I said, this is not the perfect color match for me, so I also like taking some of that foundation on a foundation brush and just bringing it down my neck, you know? I don't wanna look like I have a mask. <laughs> I wanna blend it down my neck. It's a little bit more yellow for me, but this is the only shade that I have. I added a little bit more in the areas where I needed more coverage, where I have my blemishes and stuff. My skin is breaking out like crazy, especially on my forehead here. The pimples are having a party on my forehead. At the beginning, it was like two, three pimples and now they invited their friends. There are so many now. <laughs> okay, moving on to the brows. I'm taking some brow gel and I'll brush my brow hairs upwards. This will make them look fuller and more thick. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I'm gonna take this side, which looks like a liquid eyeliner. And I will just run it through my brow hairs and it will fill in any gaps that I have in between my brow hairs. And that way my brows will look fuller, but still the end result will be really natural. Cause this is not like super pigmented. See, it's not like a really intense color. It's more sheer. And I'm just gonna very lightly run it through my brow hairs. I'm going for more natural looking brows today. I'll take some of that foundation that I already have on my face and with a flat brush, I'll just clean up the tail of my brow here. Whenever I do my makeup, my brows are going through a dramatic transformation every time. <laughs> I just really like changing the shape of my brows because my natural shape is... <laughs> it could be better, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm priming my eyes with the P. Louise base in the shade 1. If you're following this video and you don't have this base, you can just use your eyeshadow primer or some concealer. It's basically the same thing. I'll set that base with an eyeshadow which is kind of close to my skin tone. If you have creases like that, make sure that you blend them out before setting it with the eyeshadow or powder, whatever you're using. And I'm gonna focus that mostly in my crease because as you saw, that's where it's creasing. This is the Makeup Geek Creme Brulee eyeshadow. I'm gonna take some of it on this fluffy brush, Morphe M505. And using circular motions, I'll start blending it into my crease. This is a really, really pretty transition color. It's one of my favorite, actually. We're starting off with more light colors and then we will move on to the darker ones. Switching to a smaller blending brush, this is the Sigma E26. 
27 actually <laughs> and I'll add a little bit more depth in my crease using the latte as usual again by Makeup Geek I'm trying to keep that lower than that first creme brulee shade that I used and I'm just building up this color into my crease now I'm switching to that first blending brush that I used Morphe M505 I'm not adding any additional eyeshadow on it and again circular motions blending everything out This just adds a very nice definition to my crease. Now for the outer corner, I'm gonna use even darker color, Dark Roasted. This is again an eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and I'm gonna use the same Sigma E27 brush for this. And see how I'm dragging it towards the tail of my brow. That's because I wanna get that extended eye shape. Going back to that first Morphe brush, blending everything out. Again, I haven't added any eyeshadow on it, just whatever I have left. I'm gonna add a little bit more of Dark Roasted. And blending out again. Oh, also extending your eyeshadows like this is an amazing trick for those of you with hooded eyes. It makes the eyes look more lifted, it makes them look bigger. I don't know, I just really love this kind of shape. I would almost never like create like rounded smoky eye. I always like extending it a little bit. You guys, if you have never heard of the Ofra highlighters, Oh my god. I have this palette with highlighters here. It's by Ofra and they have three different shades of highlighters inside. I'm gonna use this one here today. It's a really nice goat highlighter. I rarely use their highlighters as highlighters because they're super intense. You need the tiniest amount on your face to get that really blinding glow. But as an eyeshadow, oh my god, they're gorgeous as eyeshadows. So I'm gonna Take it with my finger. We don't really need brush for this. And I'm just pressing that on my eyelid. I'm keeping it in the inner half, trying not to cover that dark eyeshadow that I have in the outer corner, okay? Look at that, and this is only one layer. If I add a little bit more, it gets more and more and more intense. It's crazy. I also add a little bit of this highlighter here in the center of my eye. It has a slightly different undertone. Again, with my blending brush, I will diffuse the edges very, very carefully, very gently. I always add some more shimmers because you guys know that it's never enough. <laughs> it's never enough for me. I don't know when I should stop. This is a liquid eyeshadow by Makeup Revolution. Now, when you use liquid eyeshadow on top of powdery products that you already have on your skin, it can get tricky because it can start cracking, it may not apply really evenly, so you need to be careful. I'm gonna use the tiniest amount. This has a little bit of a bigger pieces of shimmers and I really like that, so let me show you. Lately I've been using a lot of this IT Cosmetics Superhero Liner. I really, really like it. The tip is so fine, you can create really thin lines with it. So I'm gonna use it today for my winged eyeliner. And after that, I will take care of my lashes. So I'm gonna curl them, coat them with some mascara. If you wish, you can stop here, but I'll take it one step further and add a pair of poses. For my lashes today, I used this pair by Velour Lashes. They're called Flawless. I'm wearing only the one third of these lashes. I cut off a huge chunk of them and I only used, you know, the outer part the outer third. See how my lashes are not reaching the inner corner of my eye and they're just in the outer half here. That's how I like my lashes. I think that it's a lot more suitable for my eye shape. It makes my eyes more elongated. It makes them more lifted. I'm moving on to the concealer under my eyes. I'm gonna color correct first and some concealer. Now this foundation has a really beautiful matte finish. If you have normal skin and you're not getting really oily throughout the day, you may not even need to set it. However, 
I'm used to setting my face with some powder in the areas where I'm applying my contour and my blush because I feel like that way they apply more evenly, you know, it's much easier to blend them and also I'm gonna add a little bit on my forehead. This is the Hourglass Veil Powder. Also setting my concealer under the eyes. I'm gonna add some contour. I have this huge pimple here. You can't see it because I covered it up with foundation, but it's so painful. I can see it coming through. <laughs> it will be a huge volcano on my cheek in a few days. <laughs> Just wait and see. Hold on, it's coming. <laughs> Also contouring my forehead, really buffing that contour into my hairline. Don't forget the jawline. Also some blush, this one is by Colourpop, it's called Frisky Business. I'll take some of that creme brulee eyeshadow that I used in my crease and I will smudge a very small amount of it just in the outer half of my lower lash line. This is probably the tiniest brush that I have. It's by Sigma, it's their L06 brush. It's so, so tiny. See, my camera can't even focus on it. It's super, super tiny and it's also really, really thin. So I'm gonna take on it some of that darker brown shade that I used in the outer corner, Dark Roasted by Makeup Geek. And I'll place it really, really closely to my lashes. Basically, I'm applying it in between my lashes. And again, I'm keeping it only in the outer half of my lower lash line, maybe in the outer third even. I definitely don't wanna bring that all the way to the inner corner because it doesn't look good on me. You can try it out on you and see how it looks, but on me, I don't really like it. I feel like it makes my eyes look smaller. Tight lining my waterline with some white pencil. Ooh, look at those shimmers. I'm highlighting my face. I'm using this highlighter here by Natasha Denona. And I'll add the same highlighter in the inner corner of my eyes. If you wish, you can also highlight your brow bone with this highlighter. I avoid using very shimmery stuff on my brow bone because I have some texture. You know, when I'm plucking my brows, I don't know why I have like some bumps right here under my brow. So I prefer when it's when the skin under my brow is matte. See, I still have that highlight, but this is the base that I used at the beginning. That's what's highlighting my brow bone right now. Next up, I'm spraying my face with some setting spray and after that, I would just very gently bounce my sponge on top of that highlighter. This will tone it down. It will make it look a lot more natural. It will just get rid of that powdery finish. Okay, to finish up this look, I'm lining my lips with some lip liner. This one is by Motips. The shade that I'm using today is called Neutral. And then for my lipstick slash lip gloss, I'm applying the By Terry Lip Expert Shine in the shade Baby Beige. Now that's a makeup transformation, wow! I love this look so much. It's casual, it's simple, you can wear it in the living room, in the kitchen, in the in, in your garden, if you have a garden, I don't know. <laughs> you can wear it everywhere. I think that this is one of my favorite looks that I've done so far this year. Maybe it's my favorite look for this year. <laughs> I really like when my eyelid area here is nice and bright. I absolutely love it. I think that there are people that look absolutely amazing with dark makeup. It's definitely their thing. But for me, the brighter the eyelid area here, the better. I feel like that looks really, really good on me. And if there are shimmers, that's even better. <laughs> but I wanted to do something simple because I wanted to inspire you guys to take your makeup and try to recreate this look or try to recreate any look that you see on the internet. I know that these days are really difficult for all of us, but I thought maybe encouraging you to play with your makeup and inspiring you to recreate different looks might be a great idea. That way you can keep your mind busy, you can practice your makeup skills. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I would really appreciate it if you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm now posting videos on my second channel, gaming videos. I know this is very, very different. Makeup and gaming, they're two very, very different things. Oh my God, my hand gestures are like all over the place. I have very different content on there, but if you wanna check it out, I'm gonna have the link down in the description box or you can check out some of my other makeup videos. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!